Afternoon, everybody. Simon Cooper, all dry damp roofing, damp Sam. I'm just making this short video just to explain a bit more about this system that we put on the wall. That's um, that I call the quickest, quickest in the world. Hang on, let's just get up. I'm not an expert at this, but there we go, a bit further up. Right. So we've had a couple of questions about it. Um, if you look at the video, it tells you that um, we put a salt neutralizer on the wall before we put this uh, board on, which is stuck on with an acrylic and insta stick, and that keeps it off the wall. Um, the acrylic won't let moisture track across it, um, it's impervious. So and it holds it off the wall. We drill and inject a damp proof course in the bottom. That stops any rising damp from that point, and then the, the dampness that's in the wall, the moisture, will eventually evaporate over um, six to nine months, depending on how wet the wall is, and that will return to what we call equilibrium. So it will be the same as it was before, um, so it will be dry, basically. Um, it is the quickest system. We've done this this morning. Now, um, I've got my work gear on today. I'm just going to tell you a bit about myself. Um, I'm a qualified plasterer, got my sitting builds and my advanced. Went to college, did my HNC, um, I'm building, uh, building management, building technician, uh, international certificate. I've been doing damp work. We've had our company since uh, 2016, but I've been doing damp work since 1988. Um, there's not much I don't know about plastering. So sometimes you might see me in my surveying gear, sometimes you might see me in my work gear. Um, if I have to go out on site and do some work. Um, I am a good plasterer, I'm good at what I do, anybody that knows me will tell you that. And I think, um, I, mean, I, can't, I can't remember how many years ago what it was, but um, we became members at PCA, I took my exams and became a qualified, um, <sighs> qualified surveyor uh, in remedial treatments. So the certificate of in remedial treatments with, with PTA. I'm also a structural waterproofing surveyor as well, qualified structural waterproofing surveyor with PTA. Now, um, I think that you can't be experienced, so hands on. That's why I like to go to the job, knock the plaster off, and have a look at what's underneath, rather than saying it's going to be a specific job. Now, I'm doing, going to do a blog on what we knocked off on this on this wall because the, the, we took pictures of the, the, the damp patches and it had rising damp, but it also had other issues going on. And when we knocked the plaster off, you could see what had happened. And basically got some, um, it had been re-rendered, but whoever had knocked it off before and put a damp proof system on had just left the old plaster on. Uh, and it was the old ash plaster. So look out for that blog. It'll be on our website. Um, also, if you want to subscribe to us, subscribe now down here because I'm going to do quite a few videos on um, different types of situations that you might find when you come out to a, you know, a customer's job because it's never straightforward. There's always something else um, and there's not just one type of damp. There's, there's, there's some people going around that you're questioning whether rising damp really exists. But if you look at the pictures that you know that we put online, and it's not just us, it's, it's damp companies up and down England. Have a look at them pictures. Have a look at whether the wall's damp. Look at the patterns of the damp. So you've got, some will have salt bands, some will have watermarks. There is different types of damp. But if, it's, uh, if you've got a salt band, it is ground salts. So it's, ri it's rising from the ground and then it, when it evaporates it leaves a band of salts. So I thought I said I'd keep it short this video. Um, I think I'm, I'm about five minutes now. So I, I'm Simon Cooper, Damp Sam, all dry damp proofing. Subscribe to his blog, have a look at the website, get a free ebook on damp, get a free ebook on how to convert your basement. Um, we're giving you some value. I hope these videos, you know, are valuable to you. If, if, if you think so, comment. 
if you don't think so also comment because you know we like some feedback I'm not professional but hopefully you'll see that we are genuine and we know what we're on about okay